What's going on, everybody? I'm Donovan Darius, former 10-year NFL player, life strategist, international speaker, and coach. I'm coming to you this morning. I got a question for you. What would happen if you maxed out? What would happen if you really maxed out your potential? What would happen if you gave everything you have? What would happen if you no longer allowed your doubts, your insecurities, your excuses to run your life? What would happen? What would your life look like if you decided to no longer accept excuses? What would your life look like if you allowed those things that live on the inside of you to come on the outside? If you took the time to really not only just think about your goals, not only think about the dreams you have, but also but pursue them, not just haphazardly pursue them, but pursue them relentlessly. Pursue them as if this is the last day. Because I'm here to tell you, and I'm here to encourage you, that if you want to live a life of fulfillment, if you want to live life to the fullest, if you want to understand that you are born rich and you want to die empty, which means you want to be transitioning from this life, understanding that you have no more to give. If you want to do that, then you have to max out. You have to give everything you have. You can't allow yourself to make excuses anymore. You can't allow yourself to say, well, he didn't do this, she didn't do this, my mom didn't do this, my dad didn't do this. You know what? We all got situations. But it is those individuals within the situations. It is the decisions that we make that makes all the difference in the world. You tell me one famous person, you tell me one celebrity, you tell me one person that's went down the history books that did not have issues. Because it is the issues, it's the challenges, it's the adversity. It, those are the things that's going to make you. Those are the things, I call it, they are your permission slip to move to your next step. You see, when you're young and you went to school and you had field trips, we had to get our parents to sign a permission slip so we can go and have a good time. We even packed a nice little bag lunch with nice little cookies and those little peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But we was going to a trip where we were going to have a wonderful time. But if you never went, but if you went to school and you didn't, if you forgot your permission slip, you couldn't go and have a good time. And so I say to you, no matter how old you are, have you signed your permission slip? Have you given yourself the opportunity and permission to go to the next level? Have you given yourself the opportunity and a chance to max out? I mean, give everything you have. I mean, read everything you need. I mean, really study the videos and not only look at them, but do what it says. Listen, we all go through situations. We all go through life where there's times when we feel motivated. And then there's other times when we need motivation. We all do it. I do it. I was a professional NFL player for 10 years. I went to a Division I college, Syracuse University. I mean, I get a chance to travel down all around the world and speak and do motivational videos. And guess what? I get demotivated sometimes too. There's times I don't feel like it. There's many a days, many a days that I would drive over to Hart Bridge, which is in Jacksonville, Florida. That is the bridge that I would take to get to the stadium on game day, an NFL game day. And I didn't feel like playing. I didn't feel like putting on a uniform. I didn't feel like I'd rather sit back and watch other people play. But that was my feelings. But see, when you live your life according not to your feelings, but according to your will, then you're in control of your life. And so again, I go through times when I'm not motivated. And I know you do too. So I say to you, what would happen if you maxed out? What would happen, as Grant Cardone says in his book, 10X, what would happen if whatever the action you're doing right now to accomplish your goals, what if you multiply it by 10? If it's called, what if you call, what if you call 10 more times the people that you're calling? What if you were 10 more, what if you committed 10 more times than you are now to your own promises, to the promises that you gave other people? What if you did that? What would your life look like? What would the end results be? Well, I'm here to tell you, if you do that, man, then the person that will be most satisfied is yourself. And the person that will be able to live out their fullness is you. And so today's the day. I don't care what day it is in the calendar year. Today is called today because it's a gift. You see, yesterday was a history. Tomorrow's a mystery. But today is a gift from God. 
That's why it's called the present. Well, give yourself the greatest, greatest gift this holiday season. The gift of maxing out. The gift of permission. To say yes to your dreams. To say yes to your best. You deserve it. You owe it to yourself. Nobody can do it but you. I'm Donovan Darius. I'm here this morning with Channel 4 uh, on the morning show. I get a chance. I'm actually one of their guests, uh, guest speakers this morning. I'm going to be sharing on overcoming, avoiding and overcoming the holiday blues and the holiday depression because seasonal affectional disorder is very real. And so I get a chance to share about that uh, this morning. I was fortunate to, to be trained as a, a certified life coach as well as a mental health specialist. So I wanna share with the audience as well as yourself, uh, just some tips, some ways that you can avoid you can avoid the holiday blues because it's real. It's a real phenomenon, seasonal affectional disorder where you feel like depressive. Sometimes you feel like depressive symptoms during the season. It is very real. And so I'm going to share some tips with that. So again, you guys tune in. Uh, again, I'm going to post that video as well uh, on my YouTube page. So if you haven't checked out the YouTube page, definitely go ahead and do that as well. Definitely share this video on your page now while I'm speaking so other people can get access to it and they can get encouraged as well. And so again, I say all these things because uh, again, I would never do or say anything that I have not experienced. And I went through it, I went through depression, I went through anxiety, I went through all that stuff. But some of those things are very normal in a part of life. But understanding how to get over it, how to overcome it, how to manage it, what is it? What is it? Because here's one of the greatest phenomena in life. If you ask yourself a question, your mind is automatically going to come up with an answer. That's the way we're structured. But sometimes what will happen if you ask yourself a question about how you feel and what you're going through and you have no idea about an understanding of why you're doing it? Then what will happen is the answer that your mind comes up with may not be the right one. And because about 70% of our thoughts are critical or negative, it's going to come up with an answer where it's going to be accusatory. It's going to put you down. And a lot of times it's going to tell you what you didn't do, what you ain't doing, what you won't be, what you never be, and what you shouldn't be, what you couldn't be. And so again, tune into the show today. Again, go ahead and definitely make sure you subscribe. Um, you know, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, as well, where I post many videos and content on different things in life, motivation, encouragement, overcoming, you name it. And then also feel free to go ahead and share and post a comment and let me know. Uh, let me know what uh, what areas that you want me to address as well, and I'll create some videos for there. Listen, my life, I am driven by the opportunity to motivate and inspire people. I do not do what I do for money. My slogan I have in life is this, one of them anyway, is that I love people and I use money, not the other way around. So let me help you. Let me help you today. Let me partner with you today. Let me be your teammate. Let me be your coach. Whatever it may be, I'm here to serve. Help me to serve. Help me serve you. All right, so listen, you guys be blessed, man, encouraged. I go on this morning in about 10, 10, 15 minutes. If you guys are on Channel 4 in Jacksonville, you can tune in. If not, um, I'll, I'll repost a link to the YouTube channel where it will, you know, on my YouTube page where it be from there, okay? So listen, y'all have a great day. Uh, post any comments that you guys have, any way that I can support you guys from there. Just want to give a morning shout out to those that are that got a chance to come on this morning. Vince Edwards, good morning. Miss Linda Armstrong, Michelle Rave. Raves, Mark Pastor, what was it? Pastor Rizzo, Pastor Rizza, Pastor Rizzo. I gotta get your name right, buddy. <laughs> also, Randy Brown, good morning, Miss Denise, Shawnee Collins, Denise, Stacy Mitchell, good morning, Antonio Stevens, Candace King, good morning, Shirley Walker, Antoine, Terry, what's up, Antoine and Juan? Hey, man, I know it's a little like a two months late. Happy birthday again. <laughs> He said, when is his birthday? Happy birthday, man. Miss you, man. Hopefully uh, we get a chance to talk and, uh, soon. And uh, let me see. Hit me up today. Let me know. Text me. Let me know what you're doing today so I can just uh, shoot a message out. Now, listen, be intentional this holiday, be intentional this holiday season. Um, because, again, this is, and, and I'm going to talk about it today on the show, you know, with the constant reminders of other people's happiness in the holiday seasons, it could be actually a painful reminder for some people who are dealing with and facing uh, family conflict, you know, loss, pain, divorce, breakups, and mental health issues. And so this can be on those season, man. And so I'm going to share some tips, okay? I'm going to give it all away. You're going to have to watch and or get on the YouTube channel so that way you can get the full, you can get the full brunt of it, all right? Uh, Miss Phillip, Miss Phillip Mins, but I miss you, Antoine. Tell the family I said, hey, all right? Uh, Billy Thornton, good morning. There he is. What's up, D? <laughs> Marvetta, good morning. Tim, Michelle, Michael, 
Michael Spain, what's up, man? Steve Salky, Salkay, Sean Fitzgerald, Joseph Ellis, Ellison, Kevin, good morning, Tim. Awesome, good morning to you. So listen, you guys have a great day today. All right, you guys be blessed, and I'll talk to you later, all right? See you guys on the show if you can make it. If not, I'll see you guys later. Miss Tola, you just came in, and I'm just going off uh, too shit fast, and <laughs> talk to you guys later. Peace.